All right, guys, so we're here in Bondi Junction and we're heading over to the H&M shop. It's opening next week, we're catering for it. I'm doing a very special menu, tailor-made for the brand. It's gonna be awesome, we're gonna have live music, I'm gonna do a cooking demo, it's all gonna be happening. And it is a big space. It's gonna be lots of people, we want you to come down. It's gonna be sort of Swedish cured salmon, tartines, we have some breakfast puddings, coffees, juices, you name it. We're going to head down to Bondi and I'm going to teach you guys how to make the dish that I'll be serving on the day. So a little sneak peek of what you'll be eating. Alright, so we're down here at Bondi. Beautiful winter's day, the sun's out. Okay, so this is one of the canapes that I'll be serving at the H&M Bondi Junction launch on the 27th of August. Um, it's a Swedish cured salmon, it's full of dill, beautiful cured salmon, something you can do at home. So let's get cooking. Hey buddy! <laughs> hey! So our curing salt, or our curing mix is really quite simple. What you want to do is you want to go about four or five tablespoons of sugar, about three tablespoons of salt into a bowl. That's the first step to our cure. The second step is flavour. So we're going to add lemon rind. We're going to add fennel seed and we're going to add some dill. So this is sort of like my version of a gravelax, which is traditionally Swedish or, or, or from the Nordic region. Um, and it's really easy. It's really flavourful. Um, and from what I understand is I actually used to mix it together, rub it in salt and sugar and pack it in the snow and let it cure and ferment over time. But I'm out of snow, so we're just doing it this way for now. So like I said, 12 hours in the fridge, wash it off, it's really easy. And that is our curing mix. That smells so good. Alrighty, so fish straight in there, give it a really good massage, pack all that sugar, that salt and that dill up against the flesh, and that's gonna draw out the moisture and cure those proteins and also give it the most unbelievable flavor. How epic does that look? So, once you're at that stage, all you have to do is wrap it up, put it in the fridge for about 12 hours, uh, give it a wash off, slice it and eat it. So that's how easy it is, it's that simple. Okay, so 12 hours in the fridge and after it's been washed off, that's what you're left with. So, you can see the difference in size. You can see how that sugar and salt has actually drawn out the moisture and tightened up those proteins. So I'm just slicing it long ways and what I'm going for is this beautiful cross section. You can see the layers <clears throat> and the set of segments of the salmon packed with dill on top. It just looks so unbelievably sexy. How good does that look? That's all good. Hey, Maggie. Maggie knows where the goods are. <laughs> yeah, <she talks>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so next step is we're going to make a really simple wok. Good, soft, ripe avocado, a good hit of lemon, pinch of salt. That simple, that's going to go on the toast, we're going to slice our salmon on top of that. Really good quality sourdough is so important on the dish. A good tablespoon of your guac on top of the toast. And then we're going to layer it with our beautiful cured Swedish inspired salmon ribbons. And then we're just going to finish it off with some pickled fennel. If you want the pickled fennel recipe, there's more videos, check them out at Bonnet Harvest. This thing is so tasty, creamy avocado, Swedish inspired cured salmon, pickled fennel. This is what you're in for when you come down to the Bondi Junction H&M launch, 27th of August. Check out their Facebook page for more details. Beautiful, Swedish inspired, cured salmon, dill, fennel seed, lemon, avocado, pickled fennel on beautifully thickly sliced sourdough. Make sure you come down.